The new off-Broadway play, Pay the Writer, follows a literary agent and his most successful client and best friend, Cyrus Holt. As Cyrus, played by Ron Canada, navigates life's final chapter, people from his past re-enter his life in complicated ways, like his ex-wife, Lana, played by Marsha Cross. And Ron and Marsha join me now. Welcome. Nice to see you both. Pleasure nice to be here. You too. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so, Ron, this show is about Cyrus Holt um, mm -hmm. as he navigates some of the most complicated relationships in his life. So can you tell us about this whole, the arc of this play? Well, Cyrus is a world famous writer, a guy on the level of, a, of Philip Roth or Norman Mailer or a James Baldwin, uh, uh, the top of the yeah, literary yeah. game. And um, he's very talented and very celebrated. And he has led a tempestuous life. Yep. He <laughs> has uh, made a lot of mistakes in the relationships in his life, yeah. uh, particularly his relationship to the mother of his children, right. who Marsha plays. And he's come to a crisis, a particular crisis point that the play um, portrays, and he tries as best he can to untangle some of these relationships and uh, recover some of the damage that he's done while pursuing his art. It has a lot to do with the price sometimes that p people who live in the public eye pay in their private yeah. lives. And hopefully it's not too late to make amends on those relationships. And hopefully. Hopefully not. And Marcia, you play, uh, as he said, because of his mistakes, his ex-wife. I do. Um, so she is described as strong and luminous, which is how I see you. Aww. Do you see yourself uh, the same way? Um, well, gosh, I see her, <laughs> I see her as kind of impulsive and uh, opinionated and strong. The luminous part, you know, comes and goes. But, she's ferocious. Uh, she's ferocious. He's still yeah. scared of me. I'm not sure why. <laughs> no, but yeah, no, I think, um, I think she's right up my alley, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and so Cyrus, um, Cyrus, the character Cyrus is portrayed in flashbacks by a different actor. We get to mm -hmm. see him at different stages in his life. Mm -hmm. Do you learn anything more about him through seeing those actors, the actor play him in different parts? Well, uh, you know, usually I get to listen to it. I don't get to see, see it because yeah. I'm preparing to <laughs> for the uh, next scene when I have to be on, out on stage. But um, uh, it shows the very beginning of his relationship with uh, with uh, Bruston, his uh, literary agent, who's played by our tremendous colleague, Brian, uh, Brian Batt. And, um, oh, I love Brian. Oh, we <laughs> get to see how it all began, mm -hmm. and I get to listen to that, their first encounter with each other, where the play shows that, and it's the beginning of a relationship of 45 years, yeah. and it's the longest re relationship uh, either of them has in their life. So that's kind of very informative. Uh, and may I say yeah, yes, you may. that um, Danielle, oh my gosh, can't forget her last, Summers. <laughs> Summons, yes. Summons. Summons. yes. How could I forget that? Yes. She's, and, uh, and Garrett, last name, Turner. Yes. Brilliant. Sorry. I'm play our kids. They play, okay. They're both unbelievably talented and um yeah they're be, pretty good looking too and, yeah, great yeah, looking and they'll be you know heading up some broadway shows themselves very nice. soon because they're off the charts well we're talented. talking about how much um, this is about relationships um and we see kind of the, what's happened between the relationship between the two of you what what strikes you the most about kind of the journey that the two of of these characters are on the love or the conflict oh it's the love Yes, good. This like, I, I felt like, like we're on What's saying? That Show, um, and he got the right answer. Dating game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're dating ourselves. Uh, I know the dating game. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, it's a love. I mean, it's a love. Yes. yes. And with yeah. love comes conflict too. I guess. Yes. Yeah. Part of life. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. They're two kind of explosive personalities, <laughs> or they bring out the explosiveness in each other. Uh, they they uh, uh, they light a fire. 
one way or the other, yeah. and the audience gets to see both uh, both aspects of the relationship between the two of them, and um, we have fun, I think, yes, every night too. playing this. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Well, it's about relationships, about rekindling, it's about making amends. You can catch Marsha and Ron in Pay the Writer, playing now at the Alice, Alice Griffin Jewel Box Theater at the Pershing Square Signature Center through September. That's a long title. That is a mouthful. Now through September 30th. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you for having us. <laughs>